This is a fly that I use an awful lot for trout, including the designated harvest areas, and it's a Lively Legs Golden Stone. Basically, simple stone fly pattern, but we're using artificial legs that a company in Pennsylvania makes called Lively Legs, and I really like them for their realism, but they're not very hard to tie. Okay, so here's how we tie this. We've got a stone fly hook. Already got a 4.7 brass bead on it. We're going to start the thread up towards the head, come back about a quarter of an inch, make a good thread base. And we're going to grab two goose biots, light tan colored. And these things usually have a curl to them, so I want them so that they curl away from the hook. So we'll get, and I want them about that long. So we're gonna get the first one in. Get it in position. And we'll get the second one in. And I'm just going to whip finish that. And from there, we're going to get a drop of head cement. that down, slide the bead up, start the thread behind it, and listen to the pug bark. Just gonna run that all the way to the back. Grab two more of the biots, and we'll get them in on either side. Same as we did up by the head. those down good and tight. Next step, I'm going to make a dubbing loop. Got my dubbing loop spinner guy. Just going to let that hang there for the weight. And just bring the thread there. You'll hear the pug walking around, and she's mad because mom went shopping, so she's stuck with me. Get a little wax on this, and we're gonna leave the dub and loop for now. And for this fly, we're gonna use, I got 
Australian possum golden stone. Get some of that. I like the color because if you look at real golden stones, they've got both black and the gold. So they got it kind of mingled. Well, the dubbing seems to capture that pretty well. A little more in. One more pinch. Okay. So now we're gonna go to our dubbing loop. Put some wax on that. And for that one, use a black poly dub. I'll make that. A little sparse, it doesn't have to be heavy. A bit more. Just spin that up. It's the pug snort of frustration. Okay, so I'm gonna take that off. And we're gonna use that as a rib. Next piece, we've got some th mottled oak colored thin skin. I'm just going to make a V cut in that. And we'll tie that in. Okay, then we got our lively legs. So I'm gonna put that with the big legs in the back, tie that in, pull the legs out of the way, get it all the way up that little tab. Okay, now we're going to need quite a bit of the dubbing. Make 
got my nice thorax. That's a good start. And we're going to take our lively leg guy, bring it over, go in between the legs, fold the front legs down so I don't get them hung up in the thread, and get that tied in. You can even, to make it stronger, flip it back and go back over it. Now we're going to make a little bit more of a dub layer. Probably not as thick. I'm going to do another thin layer of dubbing. Okay, so we're going to make our first fold to the wing case. We're going to come up in between that set of legs. Make our second fold to the wing case. Come up in between that set of legs. And we're going to make our last fold to the wing case. And get that in behind the head. Good tight wraps. Okay, I've managed to push my hook down. That all squared away. I always rotate it because you want to make sure, like right there, you can see there's a mistake. I ended up crunching down that front leg. So we're going to fix that. that back out of the way. Just adjust that a little bit. I got a nice folded wing case. Trim that thin skin. Pull those legs back and I'll bind everything down good and tight. I'll bring in just a little bit more of the dubbing as a collar. Not a lot. 
I'll neaten that up a little bit. Whip finish. Another one. Trim that. And add some head cement. Just kind of right in the back of the bead. sinks down into those threads and that's it lively legs golden stone so thanks for watching the video just wanted to assure you that no pugs were harmed during the making of today's fly tying video um, please help the channel by subscribing and liking and sharing and all of those things if you have any questions just send it in on the comments and I get back to everyone and again thanks for watching mm -hmm.